League butt kicking is back in town. Oh yeah! yeah. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This week's movie spotlight focuses on the crime-fighting, pizza-loving Heroes in a Half Shell. From the comic books to the movies, the video games, and the television shows, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have impacted pop culture and have become an icon in the underground superhero genre. So the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are four fictional teenage anthropomorphic turtles named after four Renaissance Italian painters who were trained in the arts of ninjutsu by their anthropomorphic rat master Splinter. Dwelling in the home of their New York City sewers, the turtles are considered crime-fighting vigilantes who work out of the shadows as they battle the Foot Clan, petty criminals, warlords, mutated creatures, and alien invaders. The turtles were created by comic book artists and writers Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. The Ninja Turtles were created as a comic book in 1984, becoming a massive pulp fiction read for teenagers before becoming a successful brand of toys, video games, movies, and television shows in the late 80s and early 90s. The Turtles since the late 80s and 90s have become pop culture icons that have shaped the movie and comic book industry, providing readers and moviegoers with fun escapist entertainment geared mainly towards young boys who can relate to them. Leonardo, the leader of the Turtles, is wise and tactical. He is the courageous leader who sports a blue mask and his weapon of choice are two katana blades. Michelangelo is the party dude, reminiscent of a surfer who sports an orange mask while being a master of chucking. Donatello is the scientist, the nerd and the brains of the Turtles, who sports a purple mask while his weapon of choice is his bow staff. And finally, there's Raphael, the outcast and the short-tempered turtle who by many fans' standards is the badass of the group. He wears a red mask and keeps two Psy by his side when enemies are near. The turtles have two sidekick companions, and that being April O'Neil and hockey mask player and vigilante Casey Jones. The turtle villains are notoriously weird and iconic, the most famous being the can opener, Master Shredder, who is the turtle's arch nemesis. The Shredder is the Darth Vader-like character with a menacing sepulchral voice and blades all around his body. Shredder is a master at ninjutsu and frequently takes on the turtles in hand-to-hand -hand combat. The Shredder and Master Splinter, the turtle sensei rat, have a history together which makes for a great backstory and deep mythology into the ancient Japanese art of martial arts. Other characters such as Baxter Stockman, Krang, and Bebop and Rocksteady are notoriously bizarre but are integral parts of the Turtles lore primarily in the animated series in the late 80s and early 90s. In 1987, the Turtles made their debut in the animated series to critical and audience acclaim. The Ninja Turtle series was fun and geared towards kids, which led to the creation of the live action version several years later, using the most advanced technology and bringing the turtles to life. In 1990, the Ninja Turtles came to the big screen in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The origin story of the turtles came to light as the darkness from the comic books were accessible to young boys. The Heroes in a Half Shell were created by the Jim Henson Company, which had actors in costumes doing all the stunt work, while animatronic heads were used to create the Turtles' lifelike movements. The Turtles were fun and quirky, while staying faithful to the source material created by Eastman and Laird. The film was a commercial success, yet it was poorly received by the critics at the time because there was a huge disconnect between fanboy-centered films and Oscar-caliber material. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was the first fanboy comic book styled film, which led to many subsequent featured sequels, such as The Secret of the Ooze and the third and reviled movie, Ninja Turtles 3. Secret of the Ooze was the most successful of the Turtle films to date, and was geared more towards kids rather than the adult boys that read the comic books. 
The Turtles franchise is known for their ninja-styled rap songs, and the most famous came from Vanilla Ice and Secret of the Ooze as he performed the 90s pop song Ninja Rap, which is closely identified with the Turtle brand. After the Turtles films, many video games were made for Super Nintendo and Game Boy that featured the Turtles, the most famous and popular being Turtles in Time, which showed the heroes fighting all of their rogue villains with a cool action-centered gameplay and time travel twist. Ninja Turtles Halloween costumes and toys were extremely popular during the early to mid-90s period, and New Line Cinema saw a surge in their production company while the Turtle franchise was going. However, because of legal troubles after the Turtles' popularity waned, New Line Cinema found itself going bankrupt up until Peter Jackson made the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Over the years, the Turtles had on and off cartoon shows, which weren't nearly as popular as the 80s cartoon, and after a while the franchise went dormant. Then in 2012, Nickelodeon came out with a new Turtles series that debuted to commercial acclaim, which led to the creation of an animated film in 2007, and then to another live-action film franchise in 2014. In 2014, the Turtles were redesigned and rebranded, taking elements from the old Turtles lore, while also creating new mythologies. Michael Bay's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles debuted in the summer of 2014, to huge audience acclaim, but there was a lot of controversy around the new look of the Turtles, some fans saying that they look like giant versions of Shrek. Other complaints were of Shredder's new design, and the fact that the Turtles were made from the ooze in a lab, rather than from a sewer. Despite the many fanboy criticisms about the movie, a lot of people went to see it, and for the most part, audiences liked the film and many adults saw it as an opportunity to introduce their kids to a franchise that they loved growing up. The success of the revival led to the sequel, TMNT Out of the Shadows, which is debuting in the summer of 2016. The film improves upon the many criticisms of the first revival film and gears it more towards the fans that love the original 80s television show. Shredder looks more like he did in the original film, while Bebop and Rocksteady make their first time ever big screen debut in this live action form. Another fan favorite is Krang, who is coming in this version, who is said to be bringing the Technodrome with him, which is directly from the 80s cartoon, as well as the Turtles in Time Super Nintendo game. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is a brand that any fanboy can love. The Turtles have been around since the early 80s and is considered to be a fun, dark and unique story of vigilantes that kick butt and eat pizza. The turtles are very meta in pop culture, and much of their sense of humor relates to the idea of four outcasts who want to experience pop culture the way teenagers do as they grow up in society. The Ninja Turtles have had tremendous success at the box office, while also dominating the merchandising landscape in toys, clothes, and costumes. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is a rare franchise that has stuck around for more than 20 years and today is still considered to be as popular as ever. Anyway, that's it for us today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video on the history and legacy of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. If you liked the video, click the like button over here. Also, subscribe to this channel and check out our website, filmschoolhooligans.com, and we'll see you guys next week. Take care.